Hello, morning, and uh, today is 31st of December uh, 2023, last day of 2023. We had an amazing year, and uh, year passes by so fast. And we are today at uh, the Taste of Summer Food Festival in Hobart. It's an amazing time, and uh, we're going to walk through. So come and join us to try Taste of Summer. They normally have this Taste of Summer gate, and this gate is very unique. Today from 12 to 4 p.m. It's a free entry. Normally you have to buy a ticket, but it's a free entry. So there will be a lot of people walking in and uh, trying different dishes. And the decorations is very nice. It's summertime and we have beautiful flowers. Welcome to Tasmania's Taste of Summer. Look at the setting. So many people, so many eating area, amazing setup. We love uh, Taste of Summer. Previously, it used to be Taste, uh, Taste of Tasmania. That was an amazing yearly festival we used to enjoy the last 10 years or so. They started this new festival called Taste of Summer. They have all these different uh, stores, mainly for Tasmanian produce. For example, Bruni Island Oyster, and uh, Bruni Island is obviously a popular destination in Tasmania from Hobart and there are other food stores as well. So let's walk through these and see what uh, on offer. A lot of uh, ciders and particularly on the left hand side, this side, they have different uh, drinks. Uh, and so these are the different uh, jeans or local ciders on offer. A lot of people are enjoying this festivity good weather and variety of food on offer and also ice creams canopy ice cream is one of our favorite in Tasmania in Hobart and they have extraordinary ice cream delicious we decided to try canopy ice cream this is one of our favorite as I mentioned and they have a special ice cream called black garlic so I'm gonna try that so we are trying the black garlic ice cream from canopy it's the finest Tasmanian ice cream so we have got our black garlic and we must try the black garlic. And it's delicious. We never seen or tasted any garlic ice cream before. And so that with bold flavors like lavender and blueberry, which we like very much. So they have these special ice creams they make like lavender and blueberry and also this black garlic and they are delicious and they are very bold and yeah, we loved it. The initial scoops of the black garlic was like a bit caramelly. Didn't taste much of garlic. Garlic, but we have finished the pink spoon. It really tastes like garlic. Look at these balls, they have colored pink. So, this is pink balls. Looks delicious. We should try later on. We'll walk through this inside stores first, and I think we have got some pancakes and some Thai food. Taiwanese as well. This shop is selling whole squid, deep fried whole squid. I like these ribbons. This has a different color combination this year, yellow and uh, blue. Kalbi is one of North Hobart's Korean restaurant and look at these packets. They're just ready and so many of them, they're ready to be served. I think they're selling some scallops, maybe scallop fritters. They have decorated their store with these scallop shells. These scallop shells are looking really nice. It's a donut shop, candy van donut shop, selling nice donuts. Tantin is a Turkish shop, they are selling Turkish delicacies. Look at this gathering, it's just so nice. So many people enjoying different variety of food. Eka is a Nepali restaurant and they have a stall and they are selling different momos. This is Tasmania's gourmet seafood. They are selling chips and scallops and prawns, deep fried, and also squid as well. These are deep fried squids. Look at this menu option. It's, they're selling Matsukar Island lobsters. Matsukar Island is an island uh, south of Tasmania, and they have a Bureau of Meteorology weather station. And uh, I know there are only two people live there at one time. That's quite interesting, very isolated. Look at this shop, this, they're selling deep fried squid and prawns. Delicious. 
so we want to try some Matsukara Island lobster fry and hopefully it will be very good. We've got this Matsukara Island lobster fries. It's a battered lobster, four pieces with some chips and a wedge of lemon and uh, looks delicious. And let's let me try a little bit. Hopefully it should be very crunchy and tasty. Mm. Awesome. Inside they have this lobster piece and they have a very keen batter and um, yeah, it's delicious. Beautiful setup, isn't it? So many people. I'm just uh, repeating myself, but it's just extraordinary. Very enjoyable time. Bombay on the beach. Oh, that's wonderful. And they're showing location of Hobart on Tasmania's map. That's an Indian connection. And they're selling naans and different curries, rice and samosa. And uh, on the other side, they have this dosa as well. They're selling dosa. Look at this decoration. Beautiful, isn't it? French crepes are also on offer. They have different varieties. Look at this crepe. They're making fresh crepe here. So now we are walking to the water side. It's the Darwin River and let's look at this setup. It's amazing, isn't it? So many eating areas and then you have you buy the food and you come outside and uh, grab a table. It's very difficult to grab a table. So a lot of people around and uh, it's full house. There's so many boats have already arrived and so hope you have watched some of our Sydney to Hobart Yacht Race vlogs that we have been creating last few days and these are the boats that you can see they are parked already and look at this setup it's just so beautiful look at this barbecue setup pretty impressive it looks like almost looks like a locomotive engine they're doing large-scale barbecue on this inside this chamber and selling different burgers these all these meats are getting barbecued inside and they're selling it lovely Mona Ferry is returning from Mona Museum and look at this view it's just beautiful isn't it blue sky white clouds and all these people are enjoying extraordinary food food in Tasmania is probably one of the best in the world now we're inside this tent area this is another uh, eating area that you can see it and enjoy different variety of food they have this musical setup as well i think they get live music sometimes inside this we have another eating area and mostly bars and local wines and ciders probably tasmanian wines and distilleries are selling a different variety of alcoholic products and uh, look what they're selling they're selling pickled egg just three dollar so i'll try this later on and i'll so i'm trying one pickled egg it's just three dollar let's see how it tastes Thank you very much. Let me try and uh, see how this test. It's very hard boiled egg and it's pickled in vinegar. That's all it is. There is no bad smell or anything. It's very tasty. Sour and salty. Very nice. And there is a, they have got sweetness as well. So it's delicious. Everyone's favorite. It's fried and loaded. They're selling different variety of fries. And also I think they have some chicken and white bits fried as well. Fish and chips. We're now walking back to the inside uh, Princess Wharf and uh, we'll go to the other side of the Princess Wharf where there will be a lot of outside eating areas, park and you can try different food and that will be open air. Uh, look at this setup, extraordinary. And there are so many shops. Look at this. Look at this setup. It's so beautiful, isn't it? And we have this eating area on the right hand side. All these outdoor shops selling from deep fried mushroom to apple pies. If I zoom in, you have this 
Mount Wellington completely visible. So this area is so nice. Perfect location for a festival, food festival. So we have got a special appearance of Australian emu bard. Look at this emu bard, it's coming towards us. It's massive. Look at this food stall called Banmi Grill. It's the Hobart's Banmi Grill. If we have seen our recent uh, review of Banmi Grill, this is the store, this is the shop that we uh, ate Banmi from and made the Vietnam story, uh, the video, the recent video on Vietnam travel that we made on our channel. Look at this Banh Mi, looks delicious. And look at this open air barbecue. Look at this setup for barbecue. They're barbecuing a large number of quails. It's a delicious Vietnamese street food store or shop in Hobart, and we always enjoy them. And on the other side, these guys are barbecuing whole squid. Yeah. They're starting to barbecue the squid and they're going to be delicious. And this guy is enjoying the whole squid, barbecued squid. Oh, look, look at them. They're so good. They're just selling whole squid. Pay attention, look at this store. It's called it's called Ponting Swine. Do you, obviously, I'm sure you know Ricky Ponting. He's from Tasmania. He was originally from Launceston, Australian cricket legend. And he has got his own wine brand and they have a stall here at Taste of Summer. So Ricky Ponting's wine is getting sold here. And they're running some competition that you can win this bat signed by Ricky Ponting. So we are outside Princess Wharf and look at this number of stall here selling so many variety of food. It's an extraordinary time and these options of diff trying different food is always delicious. And this is a separate eating and sitting area and people are enjoying good weather on this 31st of December or Sunday. We have a paella shop there. Look at this setup. So many big plates and they're cooking fresh paellas. Let's walk through this area. There's live music going on. And, uh, and I love these sitting chairs. They're temporary and almost looks like you are sitting on this grass. Large scale barbecues. Look at this menu. It's like live menu. So you can actually see what on offer before you buy and so i'm going to try some pork skewer here later on this is quite impressive they're, they're showing off what they're on offer and i'm i'm buying a pork skewer here look at this pork skewers hopefully it will be very delicious is it okay. thank you so i've just got this pork skewer and they're looking delicious I should try and uh, report back. Mm. Just sweet, sticky and delicious. And obviously there are a lot of pieces so it's good size as well. 850 but yeah, most enjoyable. Look at the setup, they're brushing sauce while they're barbecuing. So that's the most appropriate way of doing barbecue and it, it actually the sauce get burned and makes it more delicious they have this bar area they're selling different variety of local produce ciders punch and beautiful Look at this shop name called Forgotten Island Brewery. Look at this setup. They have these pumps that they are drawing beer or other ciders through these pumps made with copper. Overall, there are so many seating areas and different food to try for. Look at this view. 
Oh, more barbecue. Oh, huge setup. A lot of barbecues are happening. This is like the smaller version of the other barbecue, like the locomotive look-alike barbecue chamber. And look at these chicken skewers. Uh, hello, how are you? Ha not bad. Yeah. Hope like you're having a good time. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Try some of the uh, trial. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, I'll definitely try. Ah, okay. It's a Malaysia South Sake chicken skewer. With Malaysian, okay. I was given some chicken skewer. It was really lovely, sweet and delicious. So there is a kids area. So they have called it Little Hobart. So look at the exit and a lot of Hobartian coming out of this Little Hobart chamber. Get our plants. There's our free plants. Today okay. is the community day from the city of Hobart. So you know it's free. And we also giving away some plants. So now there are herbs for cooking. But no, that's cooking herbs. So you got thyme, oregano, mint, chives, and some meat, Vietnamese meat. This is one of my favorite places in Hobart. Uh, it's very green around the year. I mean, winter time we don't have any leaf. We, we won't get this leaf. But the summer time it's beautiful setup. This is the area where we used to have all those street performances, previously known as Taste of Tasmania or Taste Festival. And this is most enjoyable. And this is a corn shop. They're doing barbecue corns and they're looking delicious. The character made with garbage. These are food waste and they're trying to make people aware they don't waste food. And so this is like a mascot of West food. Now this is mushroom time. Tempura mushroom is quite popular and very famous Tasmanian and particularly in Hobart and, and that's kind of like a ritual tradition whenever you visit Taste of Tasmania or Taste of Summer these days you have to try this tempura mushroom and they're just delicious. They're deep fried mushrooms but they're very very nice. Tempura mushroom, actually they have stall positions also pretty much permanent. I mean we always get tempura mushroom from this corner every year. So Aruna is buying the festival tempura mushroom and uh, we are buying this plate too with two sauces and uh, you can decide which two sauces you are going to buy with. So we have gone for chili plum ginger and garlic aioli. So basically that's garlic mayonnaise and this is one of our favorite shop any food festival. This is basically what you get and it looks delicious isn't it. So I've got this uh, deep fried mushrooms as I mentioned and mayonnaise, garlic aioli and this plume sauce, ginger plume sauce. Let me try one and they're always delicious. They're very delicious. Brilliant. So it's quite warm today and uh, obviously it's around uh, 24 degree at the moment and uh, we decided to have a seat and uh, taste our tempura mushrooms uh, because uh, almost 90 minutes I'm continuously vlogging and uh, so we need to take a rest and uh, enjoy the food and it has been extraordinary experience a taste of summer happening at our doorstep and it's just amazing. We're also trying a ginger beer and it's got extra zing gilepsis ginger beer and it's also delicious. This is the extra zing ginger beer that we tried and this was really delicious. It became very sunny afternoon and so cold ice cold ginger beer was really delicious. Hope you guys liked our video and this vlog. Hope you guys enjoyed this extraordinary foodie adventure. Thanks for watching our travel videos. Ba -ba. Ba -ba -ba -ba.